So this is a video about ANOVA test and I will go through some intuition behind ANOVA test and show you how to do it with uh, Stata software. So a simple t-test compares uh, two means with each other if there is a significant difference. But when you have more than two populations, three, four, five means, and you want to do a test for if there is significant difference, you must apply a NOAA test that does a simultaneous test for difference between more than two populations. And you get some test statistic, uh, p-value, for example, and evaluating p-value, you can answer the question, are there any differences in the means between the populations? So here is an example. Let's say we have a producer of washing powder who wants to test if different titles uh, for the same washing powder have an effect on sales. So producer tries four different titles and measures weekly sales in, let's say, 10 different stores. One week, uh, one title for powder, another week, another title for powder, and how many boxes uh, were sold during the week. And you have here four names, Dynamo, Ultra, Micro, Oma, Mega Clean, and Multiwash. And if you look at the descriptives of the of the sales uh, samples, uh, mean value and uh, yeah, mainly mean value, we see that uh, all four of them sell more or less the same amount of, of boxes, but uh, Mega Clean stands out as to sell slightly less than uh, the other titles. Well, the question is, is this average of 262 Point three boxes on average uh, is it lower than the other titles for uh, washing powder and the first step usually is to state uh, hypothesis and when you have a NOAA generally speaking null hypothesis is about that all population means are the same and H alternative hypothesis is that at least one population mean is different from others or more specifically to our case, uh, we can state that uh, mean values, population mean values for selling the, for Dynamo Ultra, Mega Clean, Micro Clean, now Micro Oma and Multiwash. Null hypothesis says that mean values are the same. H alternative says that at least one mean value is different. And so what about further steps? Well, we calculate some statistics uh, p-value, for example, based on f-statistic, and compared to a significance level in order to make a conclusion to see can we prove h-alternative, and if we prove h-alternative, uh, that means that there is difference, we want to check what means uh, are significantly different from ours. And at last, to check assumptions, if there are any for ANOVA test. There is at least one assumption you can check for ANOVA, and um, f-statistic, without going into equations, stuff like that, just intuition, f-statistic is found, and it's called f-statistics because, because it's uh, based on uh, f-probability distribution, but f-statistic is calculated as a ratio between variation between group averages and the sum of variation within groups. So think about that you have here, uh, saw here, descriptive statistics here presented mean value for the four uh, different titles and a standard deviation, the spread around the mean. So there are two types of variations between the mean values uh, of those titles and there is some variation within the sales uh, of those uh, titles uh, for those washing powders. So there are two types of variation in the data and by setting variation between uh, averages, between mean values, uh, with respect to variation within groups, we found a F statistic and uh, an F statistic basically has an F distribution which more or less looks like this. Uh, the shape doesn't matter. What matters is of course that we use the usual 
decision rule to kind of uh, test hypothesis. Let's say if we get a p-value, when we compare with p-value to this rejection region, if we have here uh, alpha of 5%, it's the blue area. And is the p-value less than this blue area of rejection region? Or if you just stick to the uh, F statistic, is F statistic larger than this F critical statistics that is cutoff point for the 5% significance level? So the p-value from F statistics, at least I prefer to just to look at the p-value, helps to answer the question, are there any significant differences in the means among the populations? And so in this particular case, just, just stating the result, we get a p-value or first F statistics of 5.53, which lies within the rejection region. And we also, if we convert to a p-value, we get a p-value of 0.3 percentage points. So p-value is much less than the significance level, in this case, 5%. And we reject H0, meaning that there is a significant, at least one population mean is significantly different from others. So if I do this example in Stata, I just can do it by finding the command in the drop down menu. But I can just also do it just to show you how the Stata real time. So I find the data set for washing powder. So I have those two variables. And if I just open editor window, I see title is just a variable that indicates the title of this uh, washing powder and n sold. n underscore sold just shows observation uh, of how many sold uh, packages uh, in a particular store of a particular powder. And uh, how do I do ANOA? <laughs> I go to drop down menu, statistics, linear models and related, ANOA, one way ANOA, <clears throat> choose that. And I have to choose a response variable and a factor variable. And response variable is the variable that we actually measure how many packages were sold of different titles of washing power. It's, uh, it's in this case, number sold. And factor variable, it's, uh, it's variable that uh, groups those observation of sold, uh, observations of sold packages. So it's a grouping variable. So factor variable, it's a grouping variable, and we group by title. And there are some other options, and one option is to make a multiple comparison test on Ferroni here. We need it to afterwards, if the result is significant, to check out which of the title actually stands out uh, significantly different from others. And we also produce a summary table, just nice to have to see the average uh, uh, mean values for those different titles. And we say, okay. And here we have output for ANOA test. So the first output, result output, here is the command. And here is the first part of the output is just the summary table. We see mean values for those uh, different four titles, standard deviation, frequency. And here is ANOA output that presents F statistic 5.53 and p-value 0.031, that means 0.3%. And, and at the bottom, you have this Bonferroni test call where you compare uh, pairwise each means to check if they are significantly different. And here, in the middle, there is something called Bartlett's test for equal variances because uh, this one is important because assumption for a NOAA test is that all the mean values, all the four groups in this case, have the same variance. So this result I would copy into the answer. The first thing would be to make a conclusion based on the p-value. And since p-value is lower than 5% significance level, H0 is rejected and H alternative is proven. That is, that is there is at least one mean 
that is significantly different from the others. And by quickly looking at the descriptive statistics, we see that mega clean, as we also st stated before, uh, has uh, has lower mean than the others. And uh, in order to be more sure which mean stands out significantly different from others, we can do this Bonferroni test for multiple comparison, which compares the differences between each pairs of means. And how to decide if those uh, pairs of means are significantly different from one another, just look at the p-value. And if p-value is less than five, let's say 5% significance, well, uh, then uh, would say that there is a significant difference. So if you look at this output from, uh, from this test, you see here comparison, pairwise comparisons, let's say mega clean mean against a Namo ultra mean. And with this number minus 10, it just shows that mega clean average value is 10 boxes less than average value of the Namo ultra. Is this significant difference Yes, it is because here this number of 0 0.014 is a p-value, which is again less than 5% significance, significance level. So there is a significant difference between Mega Clean and Dynamo Ultra. There is no significant difference between Micro Oma and Dynamo Ultra, between Multi Wash and Dynamo Ultra. And when we look at the Mega Clean against Micro Oma and Multi Wash, we see p-values, again, less than 5% significance level, and there is no difference between micro OMA and multiwash. So all in all, one <clears throat> ANOVA said that there is a significant difference, at least one mean value is significantly different from others, and by looking at this, looking at this test, we can uh, see that mega clean actually is significantly different from other titles. That is, it, it, it sells significantly less than other titles of washing power. Probably because the name Mega Clean probably promises too much and people may be suspicious of that name. So, and the last step would be to check for any assumptions. Usually statistical method has some assumptions to them. And in case of a NOAA, well, uh, the important assumption is uh, equal variances of uh, all groups. That means all uh, mean values have the same variance. So we test a null hypothesis that all groups have the same variance against alternative hypothesis that not all groups have the same variance. And we do not want to reject null hypothesis, so when we get a p-value, which is above 5% significance level, we are happy because H0 cannot be rejected. That means assumption is fulfilled. And in this case, with washing power titles, p-value is above 5% significance level. So to sum up ANOVA test, uh, the first step would be to state the hypothesis, null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis, then calculate p-value from ANOVA test, and make a conclusion that means uh, is p-value lower than 5% uh, significance level. Let's say you choose 5% significance level, then you reject null hypothesis, meaning that there is at least one mean value that is significantly different from other mean values. And when you want to actually know which mean value, which mean values are different, and uh, you made, make this uh, post hoc test, uh, Bonferroni test, to see which mean value stands out significantly from others. And at last, check for the assumption that variances of all samples are equal. This is it.